Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to work this problem here, uh, which is a sequence or a series of ropes. We have a wall here and a wall here, or a segment of rope connected as such, and there's a mass M that's hanging uh, below. And so we're given a lot of information. We know the angle here is 30 degrees, the angle here is 30 degrees. We have a little triangle information that ultimately will tell us the angle this is, and segment AB is horizontal. So it tells us all ropes can take 100 newtons before breaking. What is the maximum mass of this, uh, of this box M that's hanging there? So the critical piece of information is that all of these ropes can take 100 newtons before snapping. So ultimately what we're going to do is similar to what we've done in the past. We're going to write our free body diagram down, and then we're going to write our equations down. And then we're going to find out that it's difficult to solve all of these equations because we don't know what this mass is. That's what we're trying to find. And we're going to have all of these tensions uh, everywhere that's going to be unknown as well. However, we know that all of the ropes can take 100 newtons uh, before they break. So basically what it's going to boil down to is figuring out which one of these ropes is going to break first. That's going to give us the constraint we need to solve uh, for all of the tensions here. So I'm going to solve it my way. It's the way that popped out for me. You might look at this and see a different way to solve it yourself. That's fine. As long as you get the right answer, uh, no one's going to have a problem with that. So we look at this and we draw a free body diagram. Immediately it becomes cumbersome because we have intersection points, two different intersection points. Now you could try to make this one large uh, area to study, but I'm going to choose to write two different free body diagrams, one at this intersection and one at this intersection. Of course, they're connected by the same piece of rope, so we're going to have a common tension there. Um, so basically the free body diagram for point B is going to look something like this. We're going to have point B right here, and then we're going to have a tension going up like this. We're going to call this F, B, C because it's going from B to C. And then we're going to have a horizontal tension right here. We'll call that F, uh, A, B. And when you're doing these problems, you can label them T for tension. I like to use F for force. It's really all the same thing. And then we'll have uh, down here, the mass is pulling, so there'll be a tension pulling down uh, more or less roughly like this, and this will be F, B, E. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to add before we go any farther is notice this is 30 degrees, so I'll just kind of add this here. This is 30 degrees. All right. Now that is that one. Let's move over to the other one here and put a dot here and say that this is point E. Now looking from the point of view of point E, there's a tension that goes off in this direction. F, we'll call it DE. Right? And then we have the weight, of course, coming down. We don't know what that is, but that's what we're solving for. And then we have a force going off this direction, which is from this guy right here. We'll try to make that a little bit steeper. We'll call that FBE. Notice that this FBE right here is really the same one that's essentially connected to this one here. We're drawing them separated. Ultimately, these two will appear in separate equations and could possibly be eliminated. Uh, but we'll do that you know, later down the road. Now, uh, also notice that this angle right here is 30 degrees. So we'll go ahead and label everything we know. Now we first start looking at this and saying, what can we find from this? Um, we could write our equations, but if you try to write the equations right now, you're going to run into a problem because you're not going to be able to find the components of, of this acting horizontally and vertically because we haven't put an angle there. We want to use this information to find the angle of this line. So if we can kind of imagine, if we look over here, if we can kind of imagine a dotted line going this way, what I'm trying to say is what, it, what would be this angle here? And this kind of forms a triangle. And you